Yes, by the grace of God, the Lord has led us to see the first day of the month of March, and we are grateful. Let us pray. Our God, we thank you for your leading, through your care, through your guidance, and we trust in you even in this new month. Through your word, you lead us to may live long in accordance to your will. Speak to us, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. And we continue in chapter 13 from verse 4. And we are leak up that we learn that the people had previously committed themselves to living for God but in a particular way. In chapter 10, after the great spiritual work that had been done in the seventh month, the great climax was the people making promises to God. The promise number one they made was regarding their children and that they would, let, they would not let them marry unbelievers in verse, chapter 10, verse 30. And that they would dedicate their firstborns to service in the temple, verse 36 of chapter 10. They also promised not to conduct business on the Sabbath day. The promises regarding their giving also, it's seen in chapter 10, verse 32 to 39. But kindly note, no one coerced them to say what they were saying. They had spent a month studying the scripture and they were committing themselves to living in obedience to the scriptures. But they broke those promises when Nehemiah left. We see Eliashib, Eliashib, the high priest, failing in several key ways. He gave Tobias a room in the temple in verse 5, and he had been an enemy of Nehemiah and God's people throughout his entire story. And Tobiah was also an Ammonite. And in verse 2, we learned yesterday that they were to be forbidden from the temple because of their wickedness. Questions to ponder. What areas in our lives have we failed as a people of God to fulfill the promises we made to God? Where have we compromised with the enemies of God and his work as we see Eliashib, Liasi, with the Tobias, the greatest enemy of the building of the temple? May the Lord deliver us. In the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.